There is a man, and this man is named Harry Styles, and he put on a dress. Good for him, right? And everyone in the media, in the world, in the internet was either like, Screw Harry Styles. Or they were like, Harry Styles is promoting breaking gender norms and saving the universe. So, in the end, what happened is none of it mattered in the first place, and if the weirdo wants to put on a dress, let the man put on a dress. Who gives a crap? Colin, what's your two cents on Harry Styles? I think people are reading into it too much. <laughs> I agree. Oops. I just knocked soda all over my floor from throwing those sunglasses <laughs> into a pop can. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, I really think it's stupid. There's no legitimacy to, like, call him out on anything. Like, dude, A, we don't... Anybody outside of, like, the Democrats... Like, the Democrats, they love their pop music. Any Republican will tell you that they listen to country or rock. It's one of the two. Or Biggie Smalls. He's pretty great. Or Tupac. But... With that being said, nobody cares about Harry Styles, and the only reason that people care is because the Democrats started, like, being like, yay for Harry Styles. And the Republicans were like, that's not right. Which, I'll say this, biblically, it says not to, like, cross-dress, and all throughout history, you've been able to distinguish people through their clothes. And people are like, well, men were, like... I heard this one, like, kilts, like, that one is, like, cross-dressing, and I'm like, well, not really, because it's, like, different, like, kilts in 1590 versus America. It's different, but, you know, Ben Shapiro's got a good argument on it if you want to go watch it. So, but in my opinion, I could care less. Like, honestly, couldn't care less. My friend Candace Owens tweets out, quote, There is no society that can survive without strong men. The East knows this. In the West, the steady feminization of our men, at the same time that Marxism is being taught to our children, is not a coincidence. It is an outright attack. Bring back manly men. Okay. I'm not sure what exactly is controversial about this, that masculinity is a good and important thing when channeled properly. It, It requires men to defend family. It requires men to provide. It requires men to channel their aggressive instincts towards defense of values and civilization. Yeah, you must have watched his video, too. I watched the whole podcast episode where he and Candace Owens apparently tweeted about it. And I'm like, okay, you've got a fair argument that they say men should be masculine and that there's a benefit to that. But at the same point, this is a free country and no one's telling Ben Shapiro he can't be a man. Unless Harry Styles is forcing you to wear a dress, I don't think it's that big a deal. And you're just kind of poking the bear, stoking the fire with that one. Yeah, it's kind of like, I mean, I'll say this, the Democrats do tend to pick out an argument, like they like to go and attack people, but this one is one of the occasions where the Republicans are kind of trying to start an argument that doesn't really need to happen. But, I don't know. Who am I? I'm just the, 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 the governor of Oregon in 2034. Let's do some typing, some typing. Oh, oh, hi! I didn't see you there. I'm calling from Question Reality, and I'm sure you've enjoyed watching our videos plastered all over YouTube. If you enjoy them, go ahead, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, tell your grandparents to subscribe. With that being said, we're just gonna let YouTube take you to the next video, and enjoy. Could you hear it?